Hey fellas, what's up? This is Jason Henry, the Redhead Henry, and today I am going to be showing you guys how to revamp uh, current effects that you might already have or that are already out there uh, inside of After Effects and get them looking a little more spiffy, a little more uh, After Effects uh, looking. So today we're going to be, uh, so we'll be looking at that and then at the end of that I will be showing you guys how to create your own uh, spirit bomb kind of effect inside of After Effects. <clears throat> um, in, in order to do that though, you guys are going to need Trap Code Shine. Um, I told you guys in the last tutorial <clears throat> to take a look at a bunch of plugins um, to you know download and get them. Unfortunately, you have to purchase them. There are other ways to get them, but you know I don't promote that uh, if you're looking to get them for free because I purchased mine. Um, so if you're going to go ahead and uh, you're going to want to need Trap Code Shine uh, for this particular tutorial. So uh, so go ahead and look for that. You'll just have to Google it. Um, so yeah, you'll need that, and you'll also need just any kind of sprite sheet that has some energy attacks. Now, I just have a basic composition set up here, and I'm just going to drag out uh, my sprite sheet. So it's nothing too fancy. You guys can see it's just an energy blast, and I guess you could call this a Super Saiyan uh, aura shield or something. So um, you're going to want to need something like that. So I am, uh, so again, I just dragged that out to my screen. So let's go ahead and just get started here. So the first thing right off the bat is we're going to key out that background. So color key, drop that on your timeline or on your image. And we'll just key out that white background. And I'm going to draw a mask just around the effect that I want. So for the purpose of this, so we're just going to say just this uh, Kai Blast here. And I'm going to actually move the anchor point right in front of the Kai Blast, just to be safe. And we're going to make sure that this uh, is pixelated, so we're going to check that little wireframe line there. And we'll just scale this thing up. So you guys can see that this is the default looking Kai Blast shot. So there's nothing really to, you know, much to it. It doesn't really, it doesn't have a glow, it's not really blurred. So we're going to uh, mess with that. So I'm just going to duplicate this layer just to show you guys. Move it down. And uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is under Effects and Presets, I'll show you guys how to use After Effects, you know, custom presets that are already installed inside of After Effects. So you guys don't need to have Trap Code Shine for this yet, but I will show you the Trap Code Shine version of this. So under Effects and Presets, I'm just going to type in Blur. Come down here, and there's a bunch of different blur options. I'm just going to choose, the best one I like using is this Garrison Gaussian Blur um, and I'm just going to drop that right down onto this effect here, and we're just going to bump it up to about 2.0. So now it's all blurry, but it's a little pixelated still, so again, you're just going to want to uncheck that pixelated option for that one. So that's one method of doing it. <clears throat> you know, if you wanted to set a keyframe and look, see how it looks with the motion blur on, just so you guys have a general idea of how it's going to look. You know, that's pretty awesome, you know, just for having a, just a basic blur on it. So I'm actually going to undo that or get rid of those keyframes. So now let's duplicate that layer again. We'll just move it up here, this blurred one. And now we're going to just type in under Effects and Presets Glow. And we'll come down here until Stylize Glow. You can also get to your Effects and Presets by going up here to Effect and all your presets are here again but I'm just doing it through here so stylize glow and you're gonna drop that right on that Kai Blast here and you know you can mess with all these options now the glow threshold you know maybe you want it really intense or not the radius um, the intensity so you can mess with all of these options uh, to get the kind of you know glow kind of effect that you want so so that's pretty good so you know Right off the bat, like if whenever I'm animating and using like a Kai, Bla Kai Blast shot, any of these two methods would work great, um, just simply because of the simplicity of it. Um, you know, it's going so fast when they're shooting an energy shot. You know, you're not really going to want to see something like this. You'd much rather see something you know that's got a glow to it with or a blur. <clears throat> so you don't really want to have something that's pixelated. So so that's great. So let's go ahead and duplicate this one more time, and I will show you guys the trap code shine of this. So, actually, first we're going to delete the blur and the glow. <clears throat> so 
So under effects and presets, once you install Trap Code Shine, uh, it's pretty easy. They'll tell you on their official website how to install it. Um, so you're just under effects and presets, going to type in Shine. And then we'll just drop this Trap Code Shine right on top of that layer. Now you may have to move the source point. So to do that, just hit this little targeting icon. And we'll just put it right in the middle. And now you can move it. We're just going to put it right in the middle here, or kind of in the front, I mean. So right off the bat, just by applying this effect, you can tell that it's already done some pretty off-the-hook stuff. You know, it's given it uh, kind of like a ray length and just these multiple different colors that you can work with. So let's go ahead and kind of mess with this. So right off the bat, again, like I said, you can mess with the ray length so you can have the rays, like, you know, really long and intense or, you know, bring them down a little bit. Personally, if it's a Kai shot like this, I don't want the, the rays to be, you know, like super intense. Personally, I think they look good somewhere around, you know, maybe around this area, like a three. Um, but that's, you know, up to you guys. Just you're going to have to, you know, mess around with that uh, for yourselves. So um, that's looking good for the ray length. Uh, you can also mess with the boost light, which is the main center white light. Um, that doesn't really look so great. So we're just going to leave it on kind of a low setting somewhere in there, a little less than one. You can also mess with the, <clears throat> the color of this. So by default, it gives you just a standard three color gradient and you can, you know, custom choose, you know, what colors you want, but it also gives you some default colors. So say right now it's on this one, this three color gradient. So say you want like spirit. Now it's like a blue, purpley kind of color. Electric is more like these blue colors here. So we'll just leave it on electric. So you can tell off, right off the bat, we went from something as basic and pixelated as just this normal one to, uh, to this really heavy duty kind of, uh, you know, intense ray length kind of Kai shot here. So, you know, it's really just personal preference on how you guys want to do it. Um, you know, I, I personally, I like using the ray length, the trap code shine, you know, if I'm doing a full blown like animation, say like Goku versus evil Goku, but if I'm doing something, you know, that's just messing around or, you know, I'm not really trying to go for that dazzling kind of effect, you know, just using something as basic as a blur and a glow, it, you know, it's, it's definitely gets the point across and it's, it definitely looks really good. Um, just for, you know, just using after effects pre-built. Uh, stuff that's already comes with the program <clears throat> so that's looking great uh, so I'm just gonna delete all these <clears throat> and uh, we'll actually get this aura going here so again let's key out that background and we'll move that anchor point right at the bottom of this thing and we'll just scale it up that's fine. So again, you can do all the stuff we just did. I'm just going to type in shine, drop that right on there, and we'll move that source point right about underneath, and we'll just mess with the ray length a little bit. That's looking pretty good. And we'll just colorize it to something, you know, a little different than just the, having this red. I mean, there's a bunch of different ones here. Rainbow looks kind of stupid. Oh yeah, everyone wants to use the chest one. This Mars looks pretty cool. Just having this like kind of orange. So that's good. So again, you know, that's that's great. But how can I get some movement to this? How can I animate with it? So, you know, you can set keyframes, you know, for the source, the source point, the ray length, all of this stuff you can set keyframes for. But, you know, I don't really particularly use any of the keyframes for this stuff, you know. Um, if I want to give this thing, you know, some good looking movement, I'm just going to mess with the scaling options for it. So right at the beginning here, I'm just going to set a keyframe and we're going to page down one, two, uh, we'll say three times. And we'll just unlink X and Y and, you know, maybe mess with it. Maybe it's going up a little bit and widening out. <clears throat> and we'll then just duplicate these keyframes. So control C. One, two, three, control V, and we'll just select them again, control C, one, two, three, one, two, three. So you guys can do that, repeat it out as, as long as you want it to be, but I'll just show you guys how this looks. We'll just ram preview this out. So now it's kind of got some movement to it that's looking pretty good. And again, you know, you can go into your effects and presets and, you know, you have a bunch of different ones that you can, you know, probably 
uh, you know, get some more movement from it. So uh, definitely play around with that. There's a bunch of different good uh, effects and presets in here that would probably make this look a lot better, but I don't have a lot of time today, so uh, I'm just going to show you guys just the basics. So that, that gets the point across that you can get some movement going with that. What is this? Do you want to allow the following program to make changes to your computer? No, get out of here. I don't want any of that right now. And I don't want your update right now. That's I'm very offended by that because <laughs> because I'm sitting here trying to do this tutorial and my computer's like, screw you, I want you to do updates. <laughs> so uh, so thanks a lot. But anyway, we'll just uh, delete this. And now I'm going to show you guys how to create your own uh, spirit bomb effect. Now to do this, you're going to need trap code shine. It's going to be very basic looking, but again, uh, you guys can always go into your effects and presets and try adding different things to it. So I'm just going to go up to, actually I'll delete this. So I just have a blank composition here. Um, I have nothing, I have nothing inside of my project then. So I'm going to go up to layer, whoops, go up to layer new solid and we'll name this solid SB for spirit bomb. And you're going to want to make sure that it has a white background and then just say, okay. Now for the size, just to show you guys an example, we're going to make it, we'll make it comp size. So the comp, my composition is 640 by 360. And we'll just say, okay, now this is just an example. I'm going to draw in an ellipse tool here by using my mask. It's essentially just the masking tool. And you're going to want to choose ellipse because the spirit bomb is uh, circular. It's not a square. And uh, I'm just going to hold down shift and drag out this nice looking perfect circle here. And then under effects and presets, I'm just going to type in shine. And we'll drop that trap code shine right on top there and we'll move the source point in the middle and we'll also move the anchor point in the middle so that looks great but again just uh, to show you guys I made the layer the same size as my composition now when you start moving this thing around you'll notice that the ray length is hitting the edges of the layer so you see this kind of box like um, thing going on here whoops didn't want to do that so so it's you know that's kind of like a that's kind of an issue. So one way to work around that is to you know just turn down the ray length intensity, but that's not really something that you know you, you want to have a lot of uh, light I guess emitting from this thing the ray length to be somewhat you know intense. So instead of you know messing with the ray length, which is one option, I'll just delete this and we'll start over again. We'll go layer new solid, and then you'll just want to bump up the width and the height of this particular layer. So the width. I'm sorry, let's try this again. We'll lock it and then we'll bump up the width and the height to something just ridiculously big. Maybe not too big, but that's fine. Say OK. Now if you zoom out, you'll see that here's your main composition and this red box here is the size of the layer itself. So it's a lot bigger. So now when we zoom in here and we create our spirit bomb using this ellipse tool again, hold down shift and we'll just drop this trap code shine right on this and again we'll move that source point right in the middle and we'll move the anchor point right in the middle and now when you move this thing around there's no real box issue or anything and uh, you know that's great so now you can you know mess with the the color of it so the spirit bomb if you go under colorize you could choose your own custom colors but um, they already have one in here called electric that gives it that blue kind of glow. So now you've got a real kind of decent looking spirit bomb going here. And again, you can just go into your effects and presets and just, you know, mess around and, you know, maybe give it some other kind of effect or preset that you want to apply to this to make it looking more like, you know, an off the hook spirit bomb type deal. Um, again, you know, you can you mess with the keyframes for this, you know, if you want to have the scale of it start out small, like it's building up over time, say over two seconds. And then we'll scale it up to something like that and RAM preview that. So now it's like, you know, growing bigger. So that's great. Um, I think that's all I wanted to cover today. So I will uh, let you guys play around with that. Uh, definitely look into getting Trap Code Shine, and I will catch you guys next time.